up everybody welcome to another episode of faithful fridays yes i am a day late but i'm here (laughs) but no welcome to another episode of faithful fridays and the lord placed this message on my heart you guys so i'm here and we're gonna get into it usually i have my my intro together it disappeared on me like it was just on there and then it disappeared so we're going to go forth anyhow. Okay. So today's subject is going to be about false gods. Not that you're like, why? Why did that come across your mind? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to be obedient and I'm going to let you guys know what the God with the God, what the Lord put on my heart. Okay. So first we're going to start off with a word of prayer and uh, yeah. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you for your love. I thank you for life. I thank you for health and I thank you for strength, Lord. I ask that you continue to be with my family and my friends here on YouTube. Continue to watch over us and guide us, Lord. Um, and help us to be, re- be receptive of the words that are coming forth, Lord. I ask that you remove anything that is not like you. Uh, remove me, Lord. Remove my flesh. Anything like that, Lord, I ask that you just, uh, you take over, Father. So I ask that you forgive us for all of our sins and our shortcomings and keep us from, keep us from all hurt, harm, and danger, Lord. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So amen, amen, amen. All right. So today's subject, like I said, is about false gods. Now, um, I was scrolling. <laughs> I was scrolling on YouTube, but this is something that also came across my mind the other day. Um and yeah so i saw someone say something about um the moon goddess and how the moon goddess was the creationist and i just said huh where did they get that from where did they get that from lord and then all i heard was false gods and i said yeah you're right that is a false god because the moon and the stars and the sun was created by you the moon didn't do any creating (laughs) <laughs> so it confused me but then I've also heard people say prayers saying father mother God and I said but the Bible says he not mother not she so I wanted to get into this topic because I a lot of us or a lot of people in my generation I'm a millennial if you guys do not know that um, we have straight away from God because of you know church hurt and just things a lot of questioning um, going around and so with this topic I feel like a lot of my peers have went into uh, false gods and things that please them rather them trying to please the gods right and it's only one God but from my understanding all I see is they they want like a microwave type of God like you do what I want and then we're good, you know? And so, um, what the Lord was telling me is that they'll try to replicate, but they'll never be able to dominate because the Lord is a strong tower. He is the almighty. He is, he is right. Um, and so it may seem like the other gods, if you will answer your prayers and that God is sitting stagnant, but God is not a God who bows down to men. God is a God who requires complete surrenderance. And so he requires you to come to him and ask him for the things, the desires of your heart. If it aligns in his will, then he will give it to you. It's not because you want this, I'm going to give it to you. You get what I'm saying? Um, And we don't, he doesn't work for us. (laughs) If that makes sense. He does not work for us. He is the one who created us. I think, I also think of um, a parent and child relationship. Would you want your child to tell you what to do and the only way that they'll listen to you is if you do what they tell you to do it's backwards right you created them right so um like i said some some of us want a genie for a god and as long as we do as long as the god does what you say then you're good and that's just not how it works so an example that we're going to go get into is uh in exodus 7 verse 11 i'm going to pull it up for you guys gonna pull it up for you all right so it says then pharaoh also called to the wise men and the sorcerers now the magicians of egypt they also did in like manner with their enchantments 
for they cast down every man his rod and they became serpents but Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods and he hardened Pharaoh's heart that he hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said now when when I think about this scripture I think about all the times that um sorry that the magicians and Pharaoh kept trying to replicate uh, with their gods they tried to replicate the same miracles that God was performing but every single time we knew that God's miracle or plague that happened was much more severe or stronger and then even some of the plagues they couldn't even replicate so like uh, with the people being out here praying to false gods and asking for this and um, it makes it also think thank you Lord it makes me think about Elijah and all of those prophets of Baal that were cutting themselves and ready they were just ready to just do whatever to get their God to listen to them but their God is not a real God so their God can't hear them yes yes these demons can replicate but they cannot dominate what is already God's they're not stronger than God and they cannot they just can't and so I guess the word of encouragement is really just really think about why you serve the God that you serve do you serve God just to get things do you serve God because you love love him what is the reason behind it and for those of us who are serving the one true living God are you willing to surrender your will to the way that you think that things are supposed to be that's the question so with that being said I hope that this video touches somebody and blesses somebody I'm so glad that you took the time to spend time with me and God of course because you could have been anywhere anywhere else and, and I'm so thankful for it so remember to keep God first and I will see you guys in the next video 